Coleman Hodges. Big news this morning on this Saturday afternoon. David Popovich has just broken the 100 free world record 46 86 at the 2022 European Championships in Rome. That is right, 46 86 for the 17 year old. He is still just 17 years old. He turns 18 next month on September 15th. He was out in 22.74. He came back in 24.12. So a few interesting things about this swim. Number one, he wasn't even out the fastest of the field. Maxime Grousset of France was actually 22.72, just two one hundredths ahead of Popovich. But then Popovich used his patented closing speed to come back in a 24.12 uh Comically enough, he was actually back faster last night in the semifinal 2409 when he when he went 4698, breaking the European record, world junior record, European junior record, and championship record. That was his first time under the 47 second barrier. And now he has officially taken Cesar Cielo's 13-year-old world record all the way back from 2009. Uh in the super suit era and currently uh now he's the fastest man hunter freestyler of all time breaking again that world record world junior record european record european junior record championship record for the european championships uh one thing we kind of forgot or maybe got swept under the rug christoph milak of hungary he was out in 22 8 back in 24 6 47 47 for some serious speed for the Hungarian. Uh, I think it'll be really interesting to watch his sprint freestyle progression if he chooses to pursue these events. Now, let's take a little bit of a deep dive on Popovich's 100 free and specifically his freestyle technique. So this is David swimming uh, in the semifinal last night. And if you can see his technique, we get a nice underwater view of it here. He's got that really long galloping stroke. A few things of analysis here. Uh, he's breathing every other stroke like a lot of hunter freestylers do. And he, he reaches all the way out. And then you can see he has a nice six speed kick. One, two, three, stroke. One, two, three, stroke. Uh, so that, that's kind of a typical for what we see in, in those longer freestylers. What's interesting about his stroke though, is that he's so tall, so lanky, he's able to be so long. I think that it would have been interesting to see more people kind of out with him. Um, again, you, you hear about the phenomena of, of like the wave or getting over that wave and especially in a hundred freestyle final. Um, obviously there's more pressure in that final, but also um, it, it's, it's hard when everyone's going out at the same speed. And David was, again, not out first, but he was out slightly ahead of everyone around him. Maxime Gersette was over in lane two, uh, and therefore and he was about, about the same speed. Um, Christoph and Alessandro Moresi, who were in lanes three and five and who got silver and bronze respectively, um, were out just a tenth slower than David. And so David kind of had that momentum already, and then he was able to really turn the Jets on and get out ahead in front of that field, which I think aided in his ability to break that world record. Um, would have been really interesting to see if someone would have gone out way ahead of him for, for Cesar's world record. I believe he was out in 22-1. Um, and so... It would have been really interesting to see if if David still could have pulled off that world record having had someone so far out in front. But as he was able to get out in front and have that clean water, um, then I think I think that helped his process of ultimately getting to that 4686. Still wild to say it. Still kind of wrapping my rap mind around that uh, period because that's just it's just insane. Uh, that 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 world record is finally broken. Thirteen years it was on the books. 
uh, let's do a little bit of a dive. Let's give, <laughs> let's get some context into this 17 year old's very young career. Um, we, you know, we, we were talking to David less than two years ago when at the 2020 Romanian championships, he posted a 49.26 in the 100 meter freestyle. That was a huge PB for him. It gave him the FINA A cut and it made him faster than Caleb Dressel was at that same age of 16, which David was at the time. He had just turned 16. Um, and so we, we had him on the Swim Swam podcast. We talked to him about his training, about what it looked like. And it, it, the funny thing was that he had just turned 16 and he was like, I want to be the fastest of all time, right? I, 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 I want to be faster than Caleb was at 16. I want to be faster than Kyle was at 16. Uh, and ultimately he was like, I want to be the fastest hunter freestyle ever. Uh, but at the time his goal was to be the fastest 16 year old in history, which he accomplished. Uh, flash forward a little bit to the 2021 European championships. So this same meet one year ago, he got sixth in the hundred free at 4808. Which is which speaks to the the speed that was at that meet. Um, Forty eight oh eight would have gotten sixth at this meet too. Forty eight one zero was actually sixth at this meet. That was Lorenzo's area of, of Italy, um, but he but he was still sixteen at the time. He he swam a one forty eight thirty eight twentieth in the heats of the two hundred free and 24th in the heats of the 50 free at 22.43. So still exemplifying some serious, serious speed. But that was his first European Championships. Just last year, this meet a year ago, was David's first big, big international meet. Uh, and so then you, a month after the European Championships, he's home in Bucharest, Romania. He drops a 146-1 200 free, uh, breaking his own national record by over two seconds. And that same weekend, he also posted a 22-6 50-meter freestyle, again, just at the age of 16. So he has these huge time drops. So we've been watching him for a while. Swim fans, you know David. You're familiar with David. Um, but we did. We, I, don't, I don't know if we saw this coming this quickly. Um, flash forward to the 2021 European Junior Championships in Rome, in this same pool, uh, his last competition before the Olympic Games last summer, Popovich lowers the world junior record to 4756, uh, leading off Romania's 400 free relay. That broke Andrei Minikov's former world junior record of 4757 just by one one hundredth. That was from 2020. Um, so he had a, this huge time drop uh, from 48.0 uh, to 47.5. Again, still 16. This is all just last summer. So he makes these huge time drops. Um, again, probably, probably helped a lot by the fact that his freestyle was just so natural, so long. He has that good six-speed kick. He's got a great natural rhythm, um, and he's got the speed to get out, and obviously he's got that great coming home speed. Um, so he, he's getting all of this international experience in a relatively short amount of time, Euro Championships, Euro Junior Championships. That leads us to the 2020 Olympic Games in the summer of 2021 in Tokyo. He had a strong start. He gets through prelims and semis at the 200 freestyle, uh, ultimately touching in fourth, swimming out of lane one in that Olympic final, huge personal best of 144.68, just missing that podium by 0.02, two one hundredths of a second. But he drops a 144.6 at 16 years old at his, at his second ever senior international meet his first summer competing on a big international stage. Uh, so obviously that's valuable experience, but just speaks to the fact that like he, this is a meteoric rise for anyone. Uh, and again, earlier that summer, <laughs> we were really impressed by him 
dropping from 148 to 146 one and then he drops another second and a half in the 200 free 144 68 in the 100 free uh later in the meet <clears throat> he qualifies in the for the, for the final in 47 7 in the semis so not quite his personal best but he's right right there and ultimately in the final he places seventh at 4804 so not a disappointing Olympics. Uh, he, he, he had a really good showing. He got that international experience and, uh, he got, he made two Olympic finals in his first go about in his first summer of ever, uh, competing internationally. So then we flash forward to the 2022 world championships, um, he, which a lot of people thought he was, he was primed. He was ready to go. And, that proved right. He he drops the hammer in the tuner free prelims. 144-4-0, top seed, world junior record. Uh, he's 17 years old at this point. And then in the final, 143-21, flipping at 49-9 uh, to the feet, and then just pulling away from the field immensely in the second 100 made him the fourth fastest performer of all time, second textile all time, just behind Yanni Gagnel, to earn him world championship gold. So that was a big, big, big swim for David. Um, again, his first world championships, his second summer competing internationally and on the big senior international stage. Uh, and then in the 100 freestyle, he has a big flex again, 47-13, and the semis of the 100 free uh heading into the final is the top seed by nearly half a second after notably caleb dressel pulled out of the 100 free and would ultimately pull out of the meet after winning gold in both the 400 free relay and the 50 fly in the first two days of the meet uh and then on day five of world champs popovich comes away with the w in the 100 free he touched at 47 58 so obviously slower than his semis time but he swam a smart race. He swam to win. He came from behind using that patented second 50 uh, and touch, touches for gold and just 0.06 ahead of Francis Maxime Crusset to make his second world title <laughs> at his first world games. And then he comes, he goes to European juniors once again uh, with a home crowd behind him in Romania. Um, and he wins golds there in the 50, 100, and 200 free once again. He defends all three of those European junior titles. Um, the times weren't incredible, but he did drop some 47s in the 100 free there. Uh, he helped his team to a relay gold in the 400 free relay. So, you know, he, he has a good time at European juniors. Obviously, that was not a huge focus of his, but he wanted to go there, perform for his country, win gold, which he did uh, in a big way. And then he comes to European Championships. We kind of think this is going to be more of a sleeper meet, not not super exciting, uh, but it turns out to be uh, world record material. He starts off uh, 47.20 in the 100 free, fastest prelims in a history of the 100 free. No one has ever swam faster in a prelim 100 freestyle. 46.98 in the semis, and then 46.86 to break the longstanding world record in the final. So again, to give some context, that's a brief history of David Popovich's swimming in the last year. Uh, <laughs> coming, coming into 2021, the kid was 48 in the 100 freestyle, 48-0 at his first European Championships just over a year ago. He is now 46-86. He was 148-3 in the 200 freestyle just over a year ago. He's now 143-2. He's a top performer in that. He's the world record holder in the 100. So I think there's a lot to come for David. <clears throat> I'm excited to see what he can do in the 200 this week. I, I'm, I'm really curious to see if he can drop a little more time than that. If he hits a 142 anything, that would be historic in itself. That would be mind-blowing to me. But congrats to David. Thanks for watching. 
and keep it with Swim Swam for the rest of the week.